Maltby in South Yorkshire was a farming town for centuries, with a population of around 900 by the start of the 20th century. In the 1800s, it was called the Queen of Villages and was a tourist hotspot known for its tranquility. It later became a mining town and with the opening of the mine, the community grew and grew. There are lots of interesting and historical places to discover in Maltby, so let's discover them together. In 1858, there were four inns in Maltby. These were the Swan, the Yellow Lion, the George and the Dragon, and the Eagle. The Yellow Lion and the George and the Dragon closed in 1858, and the Eagle became the Don John. Behind us is what was originally the Swan. It used to be called the Stork, and was built in the 1600s, making it one of the oldest buildings in all of Maltby. It was renamed to the Swan and then later to the White Swan as a lot of pubs started to add colours to their name to differentiate between different pubs that had similar names. It was stuck this way until 2017 when it became the Five Rivers Restaurant. Maltby Progressive Club was opened by the 1930s. Because it was on the road back from Maltby Main Colliery, miners would slip in after their shift. This is actually how it got its nickname, The Slip, because miners would slip in after work. Not only did miners drink here, but their families did too, and pubs like this helped establish the close-knit mining community that made up Maltby. There also used to be a bookies here, and at one event in 1939, there were over 1,200 children in attendance. In 1906, Maltby Main Colliery was registered, and by September 1907, both shafts had commenced sinking. The first fatalities were three miners who died in March 1909 and by 1910 coal had been found. However, 800 yards below where we are right now, tragedy struck. On the 28th of July 1923, 27 men tragically lost their lives as a result of an explosion underground. This has become known as Maltby's Black Saturday. Some of their bodies are still buried down there, entombed eternally. This memorial, unveiled in 2015, sets out as a reminder of the dangers of mining and to remember those who tragically lost their lives as a result of those dangers. Roach Abbey was founded in the 1100s as a Cistercian monastery. There is a myth that it was made specifically here because they found a Christian cross engraved into the stone. The gatehouse was made later on and as it is used today to greet visitors now, it was also used to greet visitors back then as abbeys often helped out with the local poor. This is about as far as the abbey got to interacting with this local community. Abbeys were often self-sufficient, which included doing their own farming. Roach was suppressed in 1538 under the orders of Henry VIII. Locals then took some of the fine stone to make their own buildings in the surrounding areas, even going as far as Doncaster. It was all landscaped in the late 1700s by Capability Brown, and today is cared for by English Heritage. There are plenty more historic sites to visit here in Maltby and there's always something to discover in your local neighbourhood. All you have to do is look. 